Now let's go over APA style using some of the online resources available. From the Rio Hondo College Library homepage, using the menu, we can click on Research Help, which will take us to the library handouts. At the bottom of the page are a couple of citation guides uh, for MLA, APA, and ASA styles. We'll choose the APA, which will take us to a PDF of about four pages uh, that breaks down the essentials of the APA style based on the sixth edition. The first part of the quick guide is part one, in-text citations. Part two are the citations for references page, also known as the reference list, references list. Then part three is the formatting guidelines, the general formatting guidelines for essays or papers uh, written in APA style. And then part four has information on further APA resources. Going back to part one, in-text citations. In-text citations are actually quite short. Uh, they're used whenever you are summarizing, paraphrasing, or quoting from another source. You'll use the in-text citation to actually reference, uh, point to a matching fuller, longer citation in the references uh, list or references page. I won't go over the in-text citations too much uh, because what I really want to cover are the citations for the references page. So every in-text citation in your paper should have a corresponding full bibliographic citation in the references list. Uh, the references list or reference page should appear at, as the last page in your essay or research paper. And each entry, each reference citation in it uh, has particular formatting requirements. They should be double-spaced, they should be listed in alphabetical order, and they need to have a half-inch hanging indent uh, format, and there needs to be one space following each period within the actual reference citation. The Quick Guide has a number of examples uh, broken down by the type of resource that's being cited. Uh, so for number one, we have here citing a print book. And you can see the basic layout as author. Uh, here indicating author's last name, comma, and then first and middle initials with uh, periods, dots, and then space, and then the year the book was published in parentheses and then ending with a period and then the title of the work and the subtitle with the period uh, this should be italicized and then the location colon publisher and then ending with a period so that's the way that the basic formatting is kind of laid out um, and then an alternative uh, format is if there isn't an author for the book, let's say it's an anthology or collection, there might, you would use instead the editor is available. And then there's examples provided uh, f with different scenarios. So if there's one author, for example, this is how it would look. If there's two authors, if there are three or more, etc. So uh, each different type of resource uh, that would be cited has an example, uh, most of the common ones. So number two is citing an ebook. Number three is citing a chapter or entry from a print book or ebook. And number four is citing an article from a print periodical like a magazine, newspaper, or scholarly journal. And then number five is citing an article from a library, database, or website. And this is actually uh, the one that we will use most, uh, especially since we'll be doing research in psych articles. Uh, and th so this is the basic layout format that will be used. 
So similar to the book, uh, it starts with author. So we'll have author, uh, the last name, comma, and then the first and middle initials, and then the year uh, for the date that it was published uh, in, in parentheses, uh, ending with the period. And then the title of the article, and ending with the period, and then the title of the, uh, I'm sorry, the title of the article, and then the title of the periodical, and uh, comma, the volume number, in, italicized, and then in parentheses, the issue number, if it's available, and then comma, and then the pages uh, that the article appears in the journal from beginning to end, and then period, and then the DOI number or the retrieved from URL uh, or description of the publisher. So there are a couple of things here I want to point out. Going down to the last two examples, the scholarly journal article from a library database uh, with the DOI document object identifier. Uh, we have here, when we see the authors listed, we see that the and symbol is used, and there's also a comma uh, between the author's name and the next, uh, the final author's name. If there are more than uh, two authors, three or more, uh, it, you basically will have the first author, comma, second author, comma, and, and then the last author. Also, uh, in the, the date in the year area, you, we just put the year. Uh, the examples above, uh, because they are from a magazine or newspaper, they would include uh, the month or month and date. But for scholarly journal articles, it, it'll be just the year. And then uh, here you see the volume and issue number, uh, which in this case means this would be volume 16 uh, and it would be issue number four. So I just want to mention that uh, journals are, uh, journals publish articles in issues, similar to how um, uh, there be might be a monthly issue for a magazine but for scholarly journals typically it, it'll just come out a couple of times a year maybe quarterly uh, or based on maybe a semester uh, so uh, there are issues that come out um, a number of times each year and they're typically then gathered together into a yearly volume uh, the volume numbering increases every year so basically Typically, the volumes are uh, change every year uh, and gather those uh, issues within them. But the numbering for the volumes will start over with each, uh, sorry, the numbering for the issues will start over with each new volume. And volume can be abbreviated VOL uh, period and issue can be shortened to ISS period when uh, using psych articles in the database. Uh, so just wanted to point that out and remember uh, in APA style format uh, the volume is listed as an as the number but it's also italicized just like the title of the journal is italicized however the issue in parentheses is not italicized now, one of the other resources I want to point out that's available online is the APA style website um, of the American Psychological Association, uh, the publishers of the APA style. Uh, the web address is apastyle.apa.org. And from this page, if you scroll down just below the main banner area, you'll see that it says popular style guidelines here and actually if you click on all topics uh, you can actually see the style and grammar guidelines for APA style they actually have a lot of information here uh, it's not the entire uh, APA style uh, this one is currently the seventh edition 
they do have the 6th edition archived, uh, but they're currently on the 7th. Uh, the style guide, quick guide that we have, uh, that we just I just showed you, was actually based on the 6th edition. It's a reminder. Uh, but here, if we scroll, we can see a number of topics, the uh, paper format, the grammar, bias-free language um, suggestions and requirements, in-text citations, references, so this is the type of citation we'll be dealing with mainly. I'm going to click on basic principles of reference list entries. And here you can see uh, on the right hand side, this tells you where in the actual APA uh, man style manual the this section is covered. Uh, and it also tells you that the guidance here is the same as in the sixth edition. So nothing has really changed. If we scroll down, uh, I just want to point out here uh, the correspondence between source and reference list entry. Uh, this image is actually uh, a really good kind of visual breakdown of from a print APA, um, the uh, psych article journal. Uh, this is like the cover page, the top. Uh, you'll actually see that here's the title. Uh, the date it was published, as well as the source information, which is the journal, the volume, and the issue number, and the date. And then you have the author uh, and information. And then you can see what the reference list entry looks like and where each item goes in it. We have the author, the date, the title, and then the source information. So as we can see here in the example provided in the figure, for this uh, particular journal article, uh, there are two authors, uh, Bodo and Rochat, uh, and the date is the year 2018. And we have the title, and then we have the source information, which is the journal. Uh, you have the journal's title italicized. You have the volume number is 54, which is also italicized. And then in parentheses, you have the issue number 9. And then is followed by the pages that the article shows up in the journal. Uh, so it's uh, 1,723 to 1,734. And then you'll have the DOI information. Now you'll actually see that this DOI information in 7th edition is formatted uh, just as a regular URL. That's clickable link. Uh, some different... Uh, there have there are depending on what source you use and where you go in terms of if you use a citation generated by database the DOI information can look different it'll also look different in our particular style guide the quick edition based on the sixth edition uh, so there are a number of rules um, that are permissible and optional in the formatting and the uh, kind of the contents of the DOI. Uh, so we're not going to get into that too much, uh, but just as a reminder, uh, the information for a citation, there is the APA, which is the style guide that determines the APA style, but you should also keep in mind uh, the course, who the instructor is, your professor, what they want. They might have a particular uh, formatting styles or choices that they'd like to be made uh, and tweaks. Uh, for example, uh, maybe omitting the issue uh, number in parentheses. And then, and then lastly, I want to, uh, again, uh, give a pitch for Purdue's uh, online writing lab. They have a number of style guides available on their website, on that website, including uh, the APA style. Uh, so go here, uh, they have more information and helpful examples and tips, including the APA formatting and style guide 7th edition, uh, general format information here. And as you can see, uh, oops, let me dismiss this, a number of pages where you can get uh, more information and examples on APA style. And lastly, remember that within ProQuest and a lot of databases, you can generate uh, the uh, citation style. Uh, the citation uh, clicking on cite 
but don't depend on it 100% because it's technology, it's not perfect, and sometimes it can make mistakes.